Hey everybody, it's Lord Magicus, and we are here for round two of uh, Merfolk and Legacy. So we are on the play this time. I think we're going to keep this hand. This looks fine. Been a nice aggressive start here. Um, Probably want to get... Well, they mulled to six. Interesting. Hmm. If they're going to wasteland us, I probably want them to wasteland a tropical island first, so. I mean, yeah, they're not going to force this or anything, so. If we were on the draw I and they played like Island Pass, I might be inclined to play the Cavern first to play around days, but when we're in the play, I think this is better. They can wasteland this if they want, that's fine. We'll play like Snow Covered Island next turn if they don't. Or I mean even if they did we could play it, so. Otherwise then next turn maybe we play Cavern. And then play like a Lord and attack. Getting the tropical island is fine here because we still have Grove to make green if we draw like Oko or something. We're going to wait on this for a little bit. I don't want to take damage from the lands if I don't have to. Interesting. So what are they doing here? So you know, no, they're Avatar and Oko, Thief of Crowns. I wonder, are you playing an Oko deck, or are you just trying to figure out what am I, what is my list? Bloodstained Mire. Okay, that's not an Oko card. Maybe this is like Reanimator. Maybe that could be. No, Volcanic. Okay, so Bloodstained Mire, Volcanic Island. This could be a Grixis list. Um, hmm. Maybe this is this could just be Blue Red Delver. There's a lot of options here. Forest is a very good card. All right, um, I think I'm inclined to cavern here. Let's play the uh, Merfolk Mistbinder first. Because if they have like Lightning Bolt, I want them to bolt this thing. And hopefully we can draw another blue card next turn so that way we can keep Force up. Otherwise, we're in the awkward choice of do we play Lord of Atlantis and just pray, or do we hold it back so we can have Force up? So this is a Grixis deck. Okay. What are you going to do here? Might Fatal Push this Merfolk Mistbinder? Nope. Wishclaw Talisman. Oh, fuck. This is Storm, isn't it? All right. Um. Then I think we do have to Force this. Okay, this this has to be some storm variant. That's the only reason that they'd be playing this card. Okay. Um Interesting. Okay. So, let's keep curse catcher. So maybe I think that this is probably not Epic Storm. This is more likely Ad Nauseum Tendril. I mean, it could be, because Epic Storm does play Wishclaw in it. I'm, I don't know if Ad Nauseum Tendrils has adopted this card or not, but I think Ad Nauseum is more of a black-based deck. Than, um, I feel like Epic Storm would have gotten a green source for Veil of Summer. So this feels more like Ant to me. I, I could be wrong, though. They're, they're like, there's a lot of ways this could go badly. Um, so if I do this, this takes them off of one of their blue mana. Damn it. There's like a little net or something flying on my wall here. Okay. So this, I mean, I just want to leave them with without um, their colored mana. So it looks like they're just going to go for it. Alright, so it's been a while since we played against Storm, but uh, we have to figure out what... So they're going another Wish Claw here. LED, so that means they're probably winning right now. C 
Chrome Mox. We just start casting it for the storm count. So Wish Claw. Wouldn't you want to use the this first? I'm confused because what are you gonna cast with the Wish Claw Talisman? I can just search for like Force of Will, right? Unless you're gonna get Echo the Eons from your deck and then you could actually flash it back after you crack the LED. I think in general though you're supposed to do this first and then use the Wish Claw. So I guess we're gonna see what they're gonna do because they only have three mana available to cast whatever spell they're gonna get. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't realize I had priority on this. I thought that they were searching. Oops. Uh, if, you, if you're watching this opponent, my bad. I'm not trying to, like, wait. I did not realize that it was asking me to, to click that. <laughs> so. I don't know. I guess I'm about to find out if we're getting wrecked this turn or not. Oh, it is Echo of Eons. Yeah. Damn it. Sorry. Interesting. Okay. We might draw another force here. We draw two forces. That's actually very good for us. Um, okay. I'm inclined to let this happen. The only thing I have to counter is anything that's going to get tendrils. So what happens is if I let this resolve, they're going to get tendrils with it, so... I do have to force that and we pitch true name. Okay, then we win. Interesting. So, okay, so what the hell is going on? This has to be like ad nauseum tendrils, right? Echo in the main deck. I don't I don't think Tess plays Echo main. I think theirs is in the side that they get it with Burning Wish. But in any case, Collector Oath is exactly what we want here. Um, we need Force of Negation. True Name Nemesis is not going to be very good, and neither is Oko. Uh, do, 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 do. Rel or Graph Digger's Cage, maybe? Maybe Harbinger, just because it's a lower on the curve. Uh, Brazen Bar was probably pretty bad too. Hmm. You might have like Hope of Garapure or something like that. So the question is do I want some answer to it? Because I, I could take either Caracas or Dismember for Hope of Garapure. I don't know if they're going to side that in or not. I don't think Brazen Borrower is what I want here. I think I'd rather have Harbingers just because it's easier to cast these. Uh, I think I keep Mystical Disputes. Like, they do something. They're not perfect, but I need one more card, so I guess Caracas is probably better. I don't think that it's going to matter too much. All right. Uh, let's, I mean, I guess I'm gonna keep this. Dispute is helpful against if they go for an echo line. So let's play trap and pass. They might play. They might wait to. I have to imagine there's a bayou in their deck to get like Veil of Summer, so. I think we just want to play Lords here. You know, this might have been a better turn to hold up Trickster, but. I think that if they're gonna go off this turn, like. 
dispute might not be enough to really do anything. They definitely don't want to just like go for echo without protection of some kind. I guess maybe defense grid should be something we're concerned about because if this is test then they might be mainboarding that and we did side out the borrower so we don't have an answer to that so. You know, I kind of regret this. I think maybe I should have played Trickster and then next turn I could play Lord plus the Waterlog Grove to hold this up for like Echo of Eons or something. But I'm just trying to think. I want to play as many Lords as possible as quickly as I can. Because that's usually like the fastest way to kill uh, the opponent. Okay. But hopefully they're going to respect force enough that we have six cards like I'm hoping that they care enough about that so okay yeah low all they might just be going for it yep it looks like it yeah, and they did have defense grid so if we kept dispute up it wouldn't have mattered So we can just F6 through here now, because now we can't actually cast anything here. Alright. Yep, and uh, what's your last card here? Being on the draw, we didn't keep like a counterspell heavy hand. Like, I mean, we could have mulligan this, I guess. Dispute's not great. It's it's only okay. And so defense grid means that I feel like this is more likely to be Epic Storm. Because that one does main deck both this and Wish Claw. It's just weird that they didn't have like Veil either. So, so now they, they have a Storm count of 5 but with one card in hand. So. so what are you doing here? They have something. Burning Wish. Okay, so Burning Wish here can get probably. Yeah, probably anything. They might just. Are they even like empty the Warrens would be probably okay. You could win from this point with that. Peer into the Abyss. Okay, that actually makes much more sense. Because they can go to 9 pretty safely, and like there's like no way that they're not going to draw enough cards to combo out from here. So, but yeah, so and Peer from the Abyss is actually a card that Tess has just added to their sideboard because this is so much better for them than, at, than um, getting Infernal Tutor into Ad Nauseum. And the reason is that Infernal Tutor into Ad Nauseum might draw you like a couple cards and then you die because you flip like too many high CMC things. This is even if you're on two life, this still costs the same nine mana to go Burning Wish into Pier. Whereas um if you go if you cast Ad Nauseum, you could actually lose from that. So this drawing you like twenty cards, you know, for the same amount of mana and no risk of death, so much better. So we have like no hope of beating them at this point. I just want to see what it is that they're going to show us here. So So yeah, like the Oaf is definitely going to be very strong if we can land it for the last game, but we are losing this by a lot. So <laughs> yeah, we they, we just got like crushed. This hand was kind of weak on the draw. They're just going to Pound Town at this point. Veil, of Sun they do have Veil of Summers. They brought in Chain of Vapor, so we should be aware of that. Carpet of Flowers. Mm -hmm. All right. They they got tendrils now. So. <laughs> so maybe I want this back. Uh, I didn't see them get hope of gear up here, so they might not be in their board. The question is, do I keep harbingers? I don't 
I don't think so. I think that in this case, because they have defense grid, we might need this borrower. Maybe it's a little bit more important. It's pretty close. Uh, is that they resolve it? We can't, like, I don't know. It, it's gonna. It's kind of rough. Like we don't. Re we don't have a good way to deal with it. Oh, fuck. I mean, pretty much as soon as they cast grid, they're gonna win the game. I'm trying to think. Like, Oko can at least elk the grid. If I if I just like for say they play grid and pass for whatever reason and I borrow it or I petty theft it on my turn they can just replay it and probably can like go off the next turn whereas like if I have Oko to deal with it might be fine this does let me potentially hold up mystical dispute though if I want to cast it for three mana or even force of negation and it, it's yeah like casting sorcery speed cards is not particularly good this could elk like wish claw talisman though that's also relevant you know what? I think maybe just for that reason I'm gonna keep the Oko instead they do play a lot of artifacts so if they just play something early and pass and it's fine um, I don't really like this hand I'm gonna mulligan this is not much better to be honest they mold a six no, I want to do better. All right, I'm gonna keep this. So I probably, so I have to keep probably Curse Catcher. Yeah, like we haven't seen Collector Oaf at all, which sucks. I really want that card, but so I think Trickster goes in the bottom, and what's the other one I want to put on the bottom? I have to keep the vial because of the curse catcher has to come out. Maybe the dispute. I guess I could put a lord in the bottom. What I really want to see though is collector oaf. That's that's the card that like we have a hope of defeating. And Dispute can protect it from Chain of Vapor. This looks like maybe Ponder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we both are mulliganed here. They went to 6 and we went to 5. Our hand was not particularly great last game. and doesn't look amazing this time. But if it gets a little bit of help, then maybe it'll be okay. This card is not amazingly good in this match, but it's... It's better than nothing. Maybe Spell Pierce would be a little bit stronger in here. If we played Spell Pierce, we're definitely giving up points versus stuff like Delver. So we really want to be able to counter stuff like um, Delver of Secrets with it. Okay. All right. Now we could actually like do something here. Because we have Oaf to, if we can vial it in next turn, that would be fantastic. Okay, go ahead and brainstorm. And I think I'm going to wait until they... I'm going to wait a turn. I'm not going to put the Oaf in until they actually put an artifact into play. Because it's going to turn off our Vial and we need... I want to keep up Dispute if I can. That's helpful. If they don't do anything, I will just play Lord of Atlantis. But if they go to play like Lotus Petal or LED or something, I'm just going to play Oath. 
and we can count our chain of vapor. Or yeah, if they yeah, if they play an artifact, this comes in. If they don't, then I just bile in Lord end of turn. So I guess they're looking at do I go for it this turn? It's an interesting question. So they need to be careful. If they use this for red, they don't have the green up for Veil of Summer. Um, Burning Wish, that's interesting. I think I'm going to use the Curse Catcher to counter that. I'll put the Lord out. That's fine, now I can hard cast the dispute. So I think here we have some options. Um, I think I could. I, so all right, if I put the oaf in play, I'm committing myself to like winning in four turns. I could crack the waterlogged grove in the hopes of finding something to violin and then drawing another land. Um, I'm trying to think what they might have here. All right, let's do this. Force of negation, okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. Let's do this in the upkeep before we draw. It's fine, we can play that. So drawing force of negation means it's safe to uh, play the oaf because now we have force to protect it. If they chain a vapor the oaf then we can just vial it back in. And we can pitch the dispute to the force on their turn so it doesn't matter that we only have three lands. But this means that they die in three turns instead of four, because now I can violin or I can flash in Trickster. They'll go to five and then they'll they'll die, so sure. Now they have to find an answer to Collector Oath. And they have to do it through a force. So they, they might have Veil of Summer, which we do have to be careful about, so. But I want I need to do play this so that it's a two turn clock. Um let's see if I play the Merfolk Mistbinder, that'll be three, seven, eight, nine. So does them being does this help at all? Actually, I think I keep this in hand because now I can play Force of Negation plus Mystical Dispute. They're still dead next turn. 
So they have to kill two creatures to not die. So I think this is fine. If they want to crack the Bloodstained Mire, they have to kill all of my creatures or win this turn. Okay, so they, they have to go for something here. Okay. You can't use it, so... They're just going to unload their hand here. Veil of Summer. So... If I just mystical dispute this, I think, or what? What if I force of negate this? Now I I have to force of negate this, right? Because now they can't play Echo. So if they, yeah, I guess. I think I think I had to in order to have this dispute do anything, so So Burning Wish. So I guess the question is do they have something like Pyroclasm in their sideboard? They got grape shot, okay. So Grape Shot does keep them in the game right now. They only have two cards left in their hand, so. They can kill off my board here and deal one damage to me. But we just need to draw like any creature and they're dead. Unfortunately, Dispute cannot counter this, so they have three mana right now. They have lots of mana, but nothing to really do with it, so... Their Vial is online here. Um, so viewing the sideboard, we do not have any three drops in the deck, so we don't need to worry about ticking this up. Um, so I guess I just pass here and we have to draw a creature before they draw something so kind of sucks that we did not pitch the dispute but I didn't know exactly what their plan was going to be if I pitched the dispute I could have just vialed in Mistbinder and killed them but now they actually have a chance to draw out of this I can at least tick this up to one, and if I get Kamena Speaker, I can vial it in at the end of turn. That's not good. So I guess, what do they get here? They, they, they might not use it right now. They have to use it at sorcery speed, right? So... It's not exactly what I wanted either, but I guess I have to keep it so I can hard cast Dispute. Or I have to play it, I mean. So they know I don't have a creature in hand. I don't know if taxing them three mana is going to be enough to like stop them from their second attempt. At least we're, the shields are not totally down. Well, they're going to get an extra two mana every turn, so like that basically negates this.
not good. I just need a creature to kill them. Preferably, like, very quickly. We are running out of real estate in this match, like, very quick. Damn it, I should not have pitched this. Okay, so they add two red. Are you going to, like, do something here? Okay, you add, cast right of flame. So they are going to use Wish Claw. All right. You're going to get Echo? Because I can counter Echo. Fuck. All right. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. They might be worried about force of negation here. Uh, empty the Warrens is very good. Yeah, um, Veil of Summer is going to do the trick here. Um, I can't counter anything that they're doing, so. so this gives them 10 tokens, so I have to draw a creature, basically. If I draw a creature, I can actually still... Okay, that's good. So, let's see what happens here. Um, can activate Wish Claw. Search for... A Lord to give it Island Walk. Then I can, you know, use the Trickster to... No, I don't even I don't have to worry about it. I can I can just um use the Lord to give the trickster island walk and then attack and kill them. They will have access to two cards, but I don't think that it's gonna be enough. I think that's the line. Right, I don't think there's a better choice here. I think it's What if I get two tricksters? They might not attack with enough tokens otherwise, so. So they have the ability to get one more card with Wish Claw. So I don't know what they drew, but hopefully this is enough to get there. I think I probably just take 10. And then Violin Trickster and then Upkeep Violin, or in my turn I could Violin Master and just win like that. So I don't really want to cast it and give them an opportunity to do some um, trying to think what if they get like chain of vapor it 
interesting. So I'm not going to block this. So what is Wish Claw gonna get? You might get tendrils. Tendrils would actually work. Burning Wish. Um, okay. So they have four mana with Burning Wish. What do you get? So they're going to go for Tendrils. So they gain six life. They go to eight and they go to two. I don't have a way to beat that. I'd have to top deck another Lord, I think. So I have to probably tick up this vial. That I don't think is going to do it. Oh wait, no it does. No it doesn't because I can't actually remove a wish counter from this. Damn it. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, I was thinking like. Okay, I guess if we drew Oko this turn, Oko could have actually helped us here. Um, so they could have elked an Ether Vial, but now we're just um, yeah, we lose. All right, there's no more Wish counters in this to actually search for. Yeah, so that was, uh, down, and it came down to like this one choice. I think if we would have kept this, um, you know, like if we had kept the Mist Binder, that would have actually got there. And like this could have gone for that line, but now the, the Grape Shot I totally like missed, so. Ah, uh, damn it. Um, nah. Yeah, if we had drawn Oko, that would have actually like got there. But nope, we did not. So yeah, it was a it was a pretty good game. And like, I I yeah, like I think that this does show like our mistake really is what got us out. But. Yeah, fuck. Ah, damn it. That's that's frustrating, but it, you know, at the same time, like, it is what it is. So, it was a this was a very good game either way. So this shows like you have to be very careful with this. And this card did not really do what we needed it to do in this match. Like, we only had two lands, so we couldn't like if we if we could counter like one copy of that, then you know, drawing a lord would have been enough here, but. Oka would have actually been able to elk an ether vial so we could attack for exactly eight. Uh, yeah, like, I didn't want to put these in play right away. Because if I would have cast this, then the tendrils would have killed me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it kind of worked out so that they had exactly, like, they survived at three life here. And fuck, this is, this is, we don't have echoing truth in this list either, so. 
I'm just trying to think like if there was any other option like I don't think that we yeah like I don't think that any of these were necessary I think that uh yeah we, we just needed to not pitch this card in the face of that but I totally forgot that they even had like grape shot and I should have known that that this was the card that they were gonna wish for so oh well that's my bad I guess we're gonna we just have to move on and do better next time so thanks everybody I'll see you next time